Hi everybody, my name is Alan. On behalf of the crew, I'd like to welcome you to another edition of Bridging Heaven and Earth. You know, I'm sitting here and I know that we're counting down, we're counting down to do, you know, another bridging show, another show, again, dedicated to the oneness, dedicated to an experience of our connection, an experience of the purpose and destiny and fulfillment of a human life. And what can we say and what hasn't been said over and over again? What haven't the great masters and mistresses and teachers and the beings who've experienced that unconditional love, that oneness, that connection to the all, what, what cannot be said that they haven't said? What can't we say again and again and what can't we scream from the highest mountains about the love. And we know that on this earth, seemingly there are different countries and different religions and different sexual preferences and different heights and weights and sexes and all the things that seem different. But in each of our hearts, we know that there is a fulfillment of that, a oneness of that, a connection to a vastness, an infinite, a, a gloriousness of bliss that has no name. It has no religion. It has no country. It has no sexual preference. It has no favorites. It's just love. It's just unconditional love. Uh, in a human being, it feels like an overflow of good feelings, an overflow of love, really. It just feels so powerful and so beautiful and so connected and so transcendental and so vast that once you experience it, you wonder what this experiment on Earth is about. How is it that humans who have this, who are this, who are this unconditional love are part of the whole? There is no separation of the oneness. And how do we miss it? How do we go on and on and on and think of ourselves and identify ourselves with anything less than that? And that is the great miracle and mystery of this human earthly experiment. And now we're so fortunate that so much energy is coming from so many places 
I mean, the audience here today is filled with so many extraordinary people who came from so many different earthly places to come here, to, to share with you, to bring their energy here, to meet with each other, to share their dreams and plans of incredible places on this earth, things on this earth, ways of the new paradigms coming together, to go from the fear base, to go from the separation base, to go from the, the limited to the vast, to the love, to the truth, to the oneness, to our being joyously and lovingly in collaboration on this planet as we're made to, as children of that one love, of that one oneness, of that one God, however you would look at it. That love does not have a name. It does not have a religion. It does not have a guru. It's what each and every one of us is. It's what we're made of. There's no other form on this planet. There's no other. There is no other. There is the one. So, you know, come with us again. You know, if you haven't seen, I mean, that's been the message of the bridging shows from day one. I mean, we've been doing a lot of these shows and we've done them for years. And each one is dedicated to that experience. And each guest we bring on, his life is, is committed to that knowing is, is committed to that recognition, is dedicated to that experience, is dedicated to that realization. Janae Sirio is a master healer and spiritual teacher who's come across the country to share with us and be with us. She brings profound healing to very deep levels of, of each of our beings in her, in her teachings, in her workshops. She works with people from all over the world to bring that love, to bring that experience, to bring that recognition more and more, to build that energy so that the energy, the quantum physics, or however you would look at it on this planet, is rising, is, is bubbling, is enlivening, so that those energies are just overtaking us with that experience of the unconditional love, of the oneness. And we have two beautiful videos tonight. Two beautiful videos from Sarah West, who was a guest on the show, the, some former bridging shows. She's just an extraordinary being. We, you know, saw these videos just recently. We said we have to show them again. She hasn't been on. She hasn't been available a long time. And as most of you know, we're in the middle of this extraordinary healing art project. It came as a dream. It came as a vision to reach out to the world and say, please, do a healing, do an acupuncture, however you, you would create a new original piece, any kind of manifestation, uh, oils, acrylics, uh, collages, uh, glass pieces, wood pieces, sculptures, uh, jewelry, anything that manifests through you that we could show on the show, that we could have, uh, we have this beautiful Heaven to Earth art uh, website, and people have been turning in extraordinary pieces. One of our pieces tonight is, is from Graham George from Spain, and another is a dear friend of ours, Ricky Huffnagel, has a beautiful piece. He's an extraordinary fusion artist, and she brought these beautiful pieces up. She did this one special you know, based on the theme Bridging Heaven and Earth, which you'll see. And actually, I'd like to read you. This is what uh, Ricky wrote about her piece. It's called Creation. Uh, meditating on the words Bridging Heaven and Earth, images immediately began pouring in, and this painting surged into my canvas almost before I knew it. It is an expression of the infinite, dynamic, all-powerful energy of love continuously flowing through all of its colorful creation in a circular motion, manifesting and dissolving, underlying and connecting all life, unifying apparent opposites as they emerge and return to the source. Here the earth is sacred and the soul in bliss runs free. My poem, Inner Fire, uses words to point to this reality awakening within us. And here's the poem, Inner Fire. What inhabits us? The movement of breath, circulating energy, joined through fire and desire, creating the inner magnetism to attract the divine. It is the fire within, the full flame, not the cinders, where the two worlds meet. When we love and accept, we experience the depth of ourselves, feeling the rhythm of the mystic pulse. The soul becomes joyful at the discovery of itself. 
so <laughs> there you have it. Now the show's over. No, no, we do have a lot more, and Jade is with us. So let's uh, do a short meditation, then I'll introduce the first Sarah music video, and then we'll have uh, Jade and more art and more music, and you know, let's let's all do it together, joyously and lovingly. Let's let's bring that connection to the surface. Let's experience it together. So join me in a short meditation. Okay, so this piece is from Sarah's CD, The Sacred Pyramid, The Sound of Peace. Sarah West, The Sound of Peace. Enjoy.
Hi, everybody. Welcome back. So that was a beautiful Sarah West video, wasn't it? She's amazing. So the extraordinary picture you're seeing in between us, who you probably saw earlier while I was reading the poem, is a great friend of bridging, a Ricky Hofnagel, a uh, fusion artist. Uh, just It's an acrylic on canvas. It's just an... Well, you're, you're seeing it, so I don't have to really say anymore. So just look at it for a minute. Okay, so we're here with Janae. Welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Oh, it's great to be here. Thank you for inviting me. So you've had an extraordinary series of gifts basically given to you. Why don't you talk a little about that? Oh, I've been truly blessed. Um, it started when I was 19, and I started to open up in my psychic abilities. And um, I have some wonderful teachers, friends, and a support group with the Ascended Masters. And uh, I work with the Creator. And uh, through the last 20 years, they've been teaching me the quantum physics of what makes up our energies, what makes up our energetic spaces, and how to go in and help people and to heal people, and to help to them to uh, open up their hearts, uh, to get out of the mind and get more into the heart, and uh, to help them to activate their path and plan here with the Creator so that they can do what they came here to do. Uh, it's uh, basically, uh, it's, it's like I'm an activator, um, and they work through me to help activate people who are on spiritual paths, who uh, came here on a certain mission uh, to help with humanity, to help with the animal kingdoms, the nature kingdoms, and uh, Gaia herself, and uh, to create wonderful, beautiful things. Uh, this planet is going through a wonderful transition, and this is the best time to be here. Uh, there are more archangels, angels, and ascended masters incarnate on this planet than ever before in the history of this planet. And they're you and me and everyone who's watching this. We all have this heritage. We all have this history. And it's time for us to remember that and to bring that forth in the gifts that we came here with to help humanity as a whole and to help Gaia and to help bring... Gaia meaning the Earth itself. The Earth, yeah, Mother Earth, Mother Nature, Gaia, um, and to uh, help bring in the thousand years of peace. The time of war is over. It's soon to be. We're still, we're still in that paradigm, and, and we're getting to the end of it. We're in the Dark Ages here, and because of the light of all the Ascended Masters, angels and archangels incarnate here, their light and their presence here, whether they're awakened or not, is helping to lift the planet and bring it to this new age. Whether you believe in the Mayan calendar, the, the 2012, um, and, and the change in the timeline from, from what we've known to something new and a new journey, or whether you believe in Nostradamus and his predictions, who knows? Everything keeps constantly shifting and changing uh, due to our choices as individuals and as mass consciousness about how we're going to bring this love in and how it's going to manifest. Every single moment it's different. Every time I check in with the Master, I say, when's this coming? When's this coming? It's going to be a gradual transition over the next 20 years. And uh, because of these changes in, in the bringing in of the thousand years of peace, we are given great tools of mastery. We are given great dispensations of grace from the Creator, from the Godhead. Uh, the Ascended Masters are just singing with joy because they can come in and help humanity in a bigger, greater way than ever before. And I'm just so honored to be just one channel of that magnificent energy that we're all a part of. And, and to know that, and, and I feel blessed. And, um, you know, people say, who are you and what you do? And I just say, I'm um, the same as you. We're love. And we're emissaries of love. And we're all here to bring forth our message no matter what it is. We all have different pieces of the message and different pieces of the puzzle. But together, it's that oneness consciousness and remembering who we are so that we can evolve into that oneness consciousness. We're ready. The planet's ready. And... The Ascended Masters I work with, I have Baba G here and Yogananda and Swami Yukaswar. I have Mother Mary oh, and Kuan Yin. Oh, just feel the love as it, it's, it's filling up in here. Uh, Lord Maitreya, 
We have Lord Jesus Christ. We have Lord Ashtar, Lord Azar, Lord Helleron. St. Germain is here, and we've been doing wonderful work with St. Germain to anchor these beautiful grids to help with this new consciousness coming in. And uh, he's going to be working with a lot of you who have contracts with him to help anchor this grid. So as you're watching this show, this beautiful energy, this beautiful love is going to be activating you so you can be a living anchor of this energy. And we're going to do uh, planetary ascension today and help people to get higher in their vibration and their love and to clear a lot of the density that they took on by incarnating here on this planet. So as people are watching and listening to us, they're receiving healing. They're receiving activations, whether I say it or not. And that's the beauty of the work. I don't have to know what it is. It, they just work through me. And, and, it's, and it's, it's beautiful to experience. So I thank you for viewing this, and I thank you for inviting us here so we can help as many people as we can and, and, and serve and just get it out. Um, one of the things that um, the Creator wanted me to talk about is, that, is our perfection and how we are already perfected beings, but we forgot. Uh, we have the, the trials and tribulations of our economy, we have our sons and daughters in war. We have uh, poverty. There's a lot of things going on in this, on this planet that uh, can serve to keep someone down. But it's all how we view these, these things in our life. And to see it, well, is it something that is to hold us back or is it something to act as a catalyst to move us forward, to create the changes and make different choices? Whether we can help and donate money, uh, whether we can send prayers or send love, all of that helps because we're making a conscious choice to help this planet shift out of that reality into a newer and grander one where we're all equals. And so we can make that conscious choice now and today by saying, you know, God bless everyone and sending love. And as we walk down the street, blessing people who walk by and not judging, but giving love because we are all Ascended Masters. We are all are angels. We are all Archangels here, but we forgot. And How does that process work? I mean, we've talked about sure. that a lot. Why don't you talk about, you know, the experiment, like I said at the opening, how we come and we're clearly, there's no separation and, and, and somehow separation seems to be here. It's the game. Okay. Okay. Why don't you um, talk a little Creator about Creator has told me that uh, as souls, we are perfected beings, and we are, we just are in perfection and love all the time, and we wanted to understand what that perfection and that love meant because if you're always in it, you you don't have anything um, to mirror it back to you because you you are it. So um, part of the plan was for our, our magnificent souls to come in and incarnate in these different games. Okay, this game we're in is the game of duality, the game of light and dark, yin, yin and yang, uh, divine masculine, divine feminine. It's the separation of the oneness consciousness into two aspects so that we can evolve and come into the oneness consciousness. How can you understand oneness and appreciate it until you've experienced the duality of it? How can you understand and appreciate peace if you have not experienced war? If you look at the past generations who went through World War II and the atrocities of that, they're more um, understanding and appreciative of peace than the newer generations who've never experienced it. They take it for granted. Everything is a catalyst. Duality is a catalyst to push us to our greatness. So creators say we're going to have a game of duality. So this cosmos that we're in is a game of duality. There's another cosmos is, is the game of oneness, where it's all oneness consciousness. Then we have um, universes that are adversarial and are the expressions of those um, energies that are opposite of love. And there's nothing to fear about that because how can you appreciate the love and the oneness if you don't understand the darkness? And it's just a catalyst to push against. There is no judgment. There is no fear because it's all creation and it's all of Creator. And Creator loves all of its creations and everything has a purpose and a path and a plan. And in this world of duality, that... that um, that the war, the adversarial energy, um, acts as a catalyst to show us our love, to get us to come together in that oneness consciousness to make a choice and create something different. If we were just all loving beings, 
we'd be in our perfection, would we not? So the, the duality acts as a catalyst to push us into our greatness. And we go through cycles on this planet all the time. The last age of enlightenment was when we've had Lemuria and Atlantis and Mu and a lot of these great civilizations that created great things. But Atlantis got into ego consciousness and, and, and brought in more of that duality consciousness which created the fall of consciousness and we're just getting out of those dark ages. And we're coming into the age of enlightenment again where we are that love. Everything comes into cycles. Crater said everything is cycles. We have, um, if you think of like, like a clock, from 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock is the age of, of lightness. From 6 o'clock to, to midnight is the age of darkness. We're coming out of that. We're at the we're at the, the 11 o'clock position and we're coming out of the age of darkness to begin a whole cycle of lightness and understanding our perfection. Um, one of the challenges that we have is because we, we're in this game of duality, we're veiled from the memory of our greatness and the memory of our love. Because if we knew everything we were, how could we master those lessons? And how is explained to me, we don't have karma. We take on karma. When we incarnate from our perfection to the Godhead, um, which are these supreme beings who work with the God force and the creation force, or creator beings, we, we say, okay, we're coming into this cosmos. This is the game of duality. Okay, one of the things that we want to master in this game of duality is understanding the perfection of oneness. So we're going to give you this karma to take on because you're already perfect. So if you don't have this karma, you're not going to be able to play the game. So you're dealt playing cards so that you can play the game. And, and, and you're, create, you're given karma to work through. And then you accumulate more as you go through the different incarnations, the different worlds, times, spaces, and dimensions. We are very vast beings. And in the work that the Creator has taught me in, in the Ascended Masters, it's just amazing how we can even function here because we're accumulation of all of our creations. We are split off our soul into many aspects and beings that incarnate. You can have other aspects here incarnated or as other beings and other species and other worlds, time, spaces, dimensions all at the same time. Then we have parallel realities of you. It's just, it's just so, but, but if you understand with the heart, it makes sense. If you try to comprehend with the mind, there's no way with the human limitation of the mind. But, you know, there's, there's 20, there's, there's, there's 200 Allens living parallel lives here on earth, um, all expressing your individuality and your mastery and, and other aspects of you too. And so when we come into oneness consciousness, what we're doing is, is we're, we're, we're connecting with the separate aspects of us that we're veiled from and what we do is we ascend together higher and higher into our mastery and that's where the oneness consciousness is. It comes from within, not outside of ourself. That's what mastery is about. Um, it, it's just amazing. Um, the first monadic level of our soul, our, our monads, what happened was Crater came in and then Crater split into Divine Mother and Divine Father. And from those, they came together and created all the creation lines of all the souls in this game. And we're, we're all creator. We all came from that same lineage. That's the oneness, and that's what we're here to remember. Everyone in this room and everyone who's viewing this, we're all from the same creation, the same soul. We just split off into different creations, and it's creator splitting itself off to understand its own creations. And that's true of the three people who don't watch this show. Right, exactly. Right? Yeah. Everyone. Everyone. Okay. Whether just, you understand I just want to know if you, you had a watch whether this Whether you show. comprehend it. Right. Yeah, it's, it's There's everyone. There's only one. It's, right. We're all creator, and it's creator splitting off into these different games and creations in order for it to understand its creations and to understand its magnificence. And that's what oneness consciousness is. And um, we are perfected beings. And, and I, I have this, I'm very visual because I'm clairvoyant. And, and so I see a lot of things. And um, what Creator showed me is I have this CD ROM that I just covered with gold paper. Um, I work a lot with paradigms. And, and I see uh, in, in the cosmic wheels and the karmic wheels. And I can look, when I work on someone, I not only see them, I see all their aspects incarnated in other worlds, times, spaces, dimensions, their parallel lives, and how all that is affecting whatever is creating illness in them here or creating blocks to their mastery here. So we don't just heal the person here. We heal them everywhere uh, because they're all one anyhow. But when we look at the creation of us, what I see is this pristine, um, it's, 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 like a, a, it's actually more three-dimensional, uh, this is more 2D, but it's like a golden globe. And 
what happens is as we incarnate, because this is our perfection, we accumulate karma. And this karma builds up as layers, like layers of onion. And I have lots of layers here. And what happens is, here, here's Janae in this incarnation, and look at all that I have to carry. Look at all the burdens and all the density, all the karma of, of what I've done to myself and others. Covering the recognition of... Cover the recognition of, of my perfection and the memory of who I am. And if I want to open up my mastery and, and be healed and have joy and bliss consciousness all the time, we, we, we got to start healing this stuff and excavate down to the perfection of who we are. And, and this is the work that I do with the Creator. So if people suffer from depression, it's because of all this stuff that they've been carrying through the eons of time. And what we do is we get them down to their perfection. And once you're in your perfection, no disease can exist. No illness can exist. There's no blocks to what you can create because you, you connect to the, create, the Creator God of you. And that's what we all are. We're all co-creators with God. And a lot of times people will blame others. Oh, I'm this way because I grew up in this kind of situation. I had these parents and everything else. There is no blame. You pick them. You picked your family. You pick those situations. And they're all based on your previous co-creations with God. And this is your opportunity to master them. So what we need to do is take responsibility of what we created in our life, whether we like it or not. And in doing so... Only then do we lift the veils, do we lift and heal the damage of the past that we can be our perfection, in a nutshell. And um, one of the things we're going to do today with the beloved Ascended Masters and Creator is help people to tap into this perfection. Because as we dig down, it creates these tunnels, uh, these cords of greatness into this perfection until eventually we can be all this. So what we're going to do is help people excavate down and help clear a lot of these layers of the onion. And what we're going to do is we're going to start off, Yogananda's here, and we're going to start off with activating the love and the perfection of the heart. Okay? Because everything you need is within you. And one thing that, um, this is my pet peeve, and I'm going to stay on my soapbox here for just a minute. Go right ahead. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to sidestep from the masters, but um, it's all important is that a lot of times on a, on a path, on our journeys, we seek things outside of ourselves. We go to people who are psychics. We go to people who are healers. We, we do this technique. We learn that technique. And that's all well and fine. There's a purpose in everything. But we're seeking things outside of ourselves. And everything we need is within us. The work I do with the Creator can't be taught by anyone else. It was what was within me. And as I excavated down to my perfection, this is what came forward. And this is what we need to start doing is, is relying on what's within us instead of um, counting on others to do it for us. It's taking responsibility because a lot of people say, well, I went to this healer and they said that I had this problem because I had these past lives and, and this is the way I am. Well, well, you know, we need to take responsibility. And yes, those lives did create that situation, but, but you created that and now you need to heal it and you need to release it. It's not for you to hold on to keep you down, you know, and what the work I do with Creator and Ascended Masters is to help us and open up our gifts inside so that we depend on our love and perfection, which is in our heart. Everything we need to heal in us is contained within our heart. It's not outside of us. But these wonderful healers and, and clairvoyants, I'm a clairvoyant, I did tarot readings in my 20s, and, and you know I, I did that a lot for people, because people need help, and there's different ways they receive help. But we must remember that everything is within us, and if we turn within, the answers are there for us. That's great. You know, maybe what we'll do is show the second Sarah video, and then we'll come back and start the activations, okay? okay. All right, yeah. So yeah, that's, that was beautiful opening. So, uh, so uh, we're going to have a second Sarah music video. It's called Voice of the Angels, and we'll have another extraordinary art piece. This is from Graham George from Spain. It's a digital art, another type of a manifestation of that bridging heaven and earth energy that's been coming in from all over the planet as a healing, as an acupuncture for the planet. So Sarah, Voice of the Angels, enjoy.
Hi, everybody. Welcome back. So that was beautiful. Another beautiful Sarah West video, Voice of the Angel. She is really a, just a beautiful being. And the incredible image you're seeing in between Janae and I is uh, We Are the Bridge by Graham George from out of Spain. He sent us here. It's a piece of, obviously, digital art and extraordinary. Again, anybody wants to join us, everyone is welcome. The, the International Healing Art Project is infinite. It's inclusive. Any way you want to manifest, any age, no skill level, please join us. It's really a healing for the planet. Everyone who does it is doing an acupuncture for right where they are, and it's just incredibly healing. So you were going to do some activations. Why don't you? I have the beloved Ascended Masters here and, and creators here. And um, what we're going to do is, first off, we're, we're just uh, we're going to bring in blessings for everyone. Uh, so God bless everyone. We're going to bring blessings of the heart, blessings of the mind, blessings of the soul, blessings of the being, um, blessings from the monadic levels of each one's perfection. All right. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to start with opening the heart. When we open the heart, we remember who we are and we tap into that perfection. Um, so, all right, beloved Sinner Masters, let's activate the perfection of the heart. And just so you know, everything is uh, being brought to you in the highest perfection and love. All you have to do is make a conscious choice to accept, and the gift will be received by you. There's nothing you need to know, nothing you need to do. Just be, um, just say, uh, thank you, beloved Sunday Masters. I accept these gifts, and, and you will receive them. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to activate the jewels of the heart. When we activate the jewels of the heart, it brings in our, our mastery and it clears vast levels of those, those layers of the onion that I was talking about in, in a clear sweep. It's a divine dispensation uh, where we can heal uh, what would take 200 lifetimes, we can heal an instant. Or 5,000 lifetimes, we can heal an instant. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to activate these gems of the heart. And here they are. They're going on now. You're going to feel your heart expand. And if you feel um, any heaviness within your heart, just ask the beloved Ascended Masters to lift it for you, and they will gladly assist you. Ah, there we go. We can feel the expansion of the heart. Okay, more gems and jewels of the heart are being activated. And now we're going to go to the, the core center of the heart, to where your perfection is, and we're just going to clear the cobwebs. We're going to um, bring in some ascension activations. Uh, one of the, the ways uh, to make this ascension of the planet successful to the fifth dimensional level and, and to raise us higher to that thousand years apiece uh, is, is through a lot of ascensions. Um, and what these ascensions are are divine dispensations that allow us to clear vast amounts of karma in an instant. So when we go through a planetary ascension, what it's doing is clearing our planetary karma so we can be in this world but not of it. And when we're in this world but not of it, we're not affected by the duality and the creations that hold us down, but instead we're tapped into heaven, and we bring heaven to earth when we become planetary ascended masters. So what we're going to do is we're going to activate um, planetary ascension uh, in you and everyone who's watching, and it's very simple. Okay, so beloved ascended masters, please activate uh, the planetary ascension. Some people will get full ascension. Some people will uh, get different levels of ascension because we honor all and we honor where everyone is on their path and plan with the Creator. And everyone is in different places at different times. But just know that uh, what is being gifted here today will be in you. We're activating what is already in you. It's not anything you're receiving outside of you. We're activating what's already in you. So if you're ready for your, your full-fledged planetary ascension, you will receive it. If not, it, it's, it's, it's there. It's archived within you. And when it's ready, it's going to blossom. And, and it'll be there, whether it's now, five years from now, a year from now, a month from now. All right, and um, but everyone's receiving the heart activations now, they're telling me. Okay, so um, what we're going to do is we're going to do a calibration. We're going to calibrate for your heart to lead and the mind to follow. 
One of the problems um, that blocks us from oneness consciousness is being in the mind. We have the squirrely head, the thoughts of the day, the worries, the stress. We have to work in the office. Um, if we're lucky to work at home and be in nature, that's wonderful. That helps ground us and clear the mind. But, but we live different lives and we have different jobs and different demands on us and family. And so uh, we have a lot of stressors. And so if we calibrate ourselves to be more in the heart, those stresses dissipate no matter what we do and we're more centered within our being. So we're going to bring in uh, those uh, calibrations, activations, and clearings, and they're coming through now. This will help us to be more integrated into our physical vehicles, into our body. When we are stressed and we're in the mind, our soul's not fully grounded and, and integrated within our being. And when we're fully integrated within our being, that's how we tap into our love and our mastery and we bring heaven to earth. When we're half in our body, half out, we're scattered, we can't tap into our perfection. So this is going to assist us to tap into our perfection. Okay, they're telling me just to remind us all to take a deep breath, a deep cleansing breath. Breathe in and breathe out. And you might want to do that a few times. Breathe in and breathe out. That helps to flush out the auric uh, system and the energies to, uh, for the clearing that we're doing. All right, we're going to activate the hand chakras because we're all wonderful healers through touch. Um, and we're going to act, whether you're a Reiki master or not, it doesn't matter. Um, whether you studied healing or not, it doesn't matter. We're going to activate the healing energy in your hands so that everything you touch is blessed. Even if you touch yourself, you're blessing yourself. And it's going to be connected to the heart and the love of the heart. Okay, we're going to activate people's plans. We're going to activate the memory of your path and plan with Creator and what you came here to do. We're going to awaken um, those who aren't awakened and those who already are, we're going to help take you to the next step of your evolution of, of your grand plan. And there it goes, and it's opening in the heart. And again, everything we do is, is they're working with what's in you, not anything outside of you. Okay, we're going to do some DNA activations. Uh, we have many strands of DNA uh, that are our psychic gifts and in our love and we're, we're going to activate through the DNA the Christ consciousness. We're going to bring in more Christ consciousness so that we can help anchor it on the planet uh, with the existing Christ consciousness grids. And the more people who get activated in this, and this is what St. Germain's project is too right now, the more people who get activated in the higher levels of the Christ consciousness, the more it activates this grid. And it's that, um, I want to say the thousand monkey effect. Hundredth monkey. Hundredth monkey, whatever. Right, yeah. but you, yeah. you expand on many things. Yeah. So, so, so in your case, it could be the thousandth yeah, monkey. I, 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 no. I'm always another. other. Right. I'm in the ethos half the time. Yeah. Right. So, so, so what it's going to do is, is, is as we activate us, it's going to help expand it for everybody else and activate in them. Um, uh, as, as a, um, I, I want to say as a love virus. I don't like the word virus, but, but you, you get the understanding. A love explosion. A love explosion. That's magnificent. magnificent. Okay, so let's bring that in now. And uh, this DNA we're activating is within the heart. It's our etheric DNA. It's not the physical DNA, but it does affect the physical DNA as well. And there it goes. I, I, I can see it spinning and phew, it expanded. It's done. All right, now what we're going to bring in is these diamonds of perfection. We're going to activate uh, the diamonds of perfection within our, our hearts. And this is going to help us tap into more universal consciousness uh, to bring in uh, new ways of, of being, new thought, um, to get us out of the, the, the paradigms that we have here that are limitation and to tap us into paradigms that are more of expansion, universal. So this is coming in now. Okay, and Lord McKeezadek, he's the uh, universal logos, they're telling me, and, and he's assisting with this work today. So thank you, beloved uh, Lord McKeezadek. Okay. All right. Um, violet flame. Violet flame, they're telling me. Okay, St. Germain is going to activate. Okay, not all of them are. We're going to activate um, the, the flames, uh, the threefold flame within our hearts and within all of our chakra systems. Mother Mary's here too, and, and Lord Jesus Christ, here they go. And you're going to feel expansion through all of your chakras as a threefold flame is activated in all your chakras of your being. Oh, okay, we're going to do crown activation. I see Yogananda going, tapping of the crown, tapping of the crown. It's expansion of the crown, expansion of our wisdom, 
uh, expansion of um, our crown to receive the higher frequencies of love to assist with the expansion here because we're all divine channels uh, whether we realize it or not and we're anchoring a lot of energy for the planet for humanity and for the nature kingdoms and crystal kingdoms and um, okay we're bringing in some energy to assist with the dolphins and the whales because they are the guardians of the earth humanity was supposed to be the guardians of the earth but we blew it and we're working our way uh, back to uh, being the guardians but but the whales and dolphins were brought here from uh, the Cyrus star system to be the guardians of the planet through their song they help balance it and heal it so we're bringing some assistance uh, through our divine channels to assist them and also to help us take uh, responsibility of our birthright to help be the guardians of this planet as well because if we love this planet and appreciate it we won't throw trash on it we'll love it and we'll be the true guardians and we'll assist the whales the dolphins and the turtles the sea turtles are telling me okay so it's coming through now okay they're showing me fiery wreath of energy around the crown we're activating um, they said this hasn't been activated in the crowns of humanity since the last age of enlightenment. We're, this is this is the first time it's been done on this planet, and we're bringing it in now. I'm so excited. I love what I do. Um, okay, so let's bring it in now, beloved Ascended Masters. And and as I bring it in and I receive it, I'll understand more what it is to explain it to you. My heart's singing. This is just beautiful energy coming through. Okay, so I'm looking at through. It, it, it's purple and, and violet and, and uh, white and gold. Um, it, it's a higher it's a higher Christ consciousness that's being activated within us um, because we're all Christed beings, and we've all ascended before. Okay, we, and we've done it many times. So these are the tools that that are being given to us today for our ascension. And as we ascend again, it's that that. I say the, the million monkey, thousand monkey effect. A lot of monkeys. Yeah, a lot of monkeys as it goes. It helps to shift the whole planet. And we are, we are the seeds of this energy, and, and we're, we're being planted so that as we bloom, it'll help others to, to bloom as well, they're telling me. Okay, so um, I'm seeing purple robes. We're receiving purple robes. We're receiving higher initiations. Um, it's a lot of Mekisedek energy I'm seeing. Um, I don't work much with Lord Mekizedek, but he comes in from time to time because it's part of his planetary service as well. Uh, these are these are regal robes of, of violet um, that to, are here to protect us from um, the the energies on the planet that have been tampered with uh, by other groups and forces that um, wish us not to to ascend higher. Um, that are, are just acting as catalysts and, and we send them love and um, because they will send eventually as well um, but a lot of times uh, there are energies through technology sent through the planet to, to um, try to hold us back but you know nothing can hold us back but these robes help to transmute the microwaves from the cell phones from the telephones uh, from the microwaves that we cook our food in um, uh, to shift um, Planetary and cosmic radiation, even though it's natural, can be harmful to our physical organic bodies. Okay, speaking of physical organic bodies, here we go, we're going more. We're going to do upgrades to our organic bodies. Our organic bodies can only handle so much love and light. Uh, the problems in the past is the Ascended Masters, once they got to a certain vibration for their ascension, they had to leave the physical vehicles because the body couldn't hold the vibration. But now, we need to stay here. If everyone ascends and goes to the fifth, Who's left here to teach the rest of the uh, rest of the people and to help guide them and help them so they can go higher as well? So we're giving these dispensations to upgrade our physical organic bodies to hold more love and light, so we can keep expanding higher and still stay here and serve. So that's coming in now. Uh, we're getting uh, Merkaba fields activated, dodecahedron fields activated. Um, we're getting uh, more robes. Uh, robes help you to bring in uh, and sheaths. They help you to bring in uh, more energy to your organic body and to hold it and stabilize it so we don't spontaneously combust so that our vibration can expand uh, beyond numbers, okay? And it's not so much our light quotient we're concerned about, it's our heart quotient. We want our heart to be the highest. The light quotient is nothing, the heart is what matters. And your heart should always be uh, 
at least 12 levels higher than your light quotient so that you have a good balance and ego can inter intervene. So we're bringing in some more uh, assistance in raising our, our love quotient and the expansion of the heart. There we go. All right, peace. We're going to activate peace within us. A lot of us have a lot of um, sadness that we carry for the planet. Uh, and, and we're not at peace with ourselves because of the energies and the games that are playing out here. So we're going to bring in more uh, and activate more. When I say bring in more, we're bringing in the energies to activate what's already within us to bring in the peace. So we're going to activate the perfection of peace within us, activate the perfection of bliss within us, activate the perfection of joy. Okay, uh, there's a, a three chambered um, place within the high heart that's going to be activated which has the bliss, the joy, and the peace. And as we awaken and open that, then these become a natural part of our life. We don't have to seek it. It's within us and it's a part of us. Beauty. We're going to activate beauty. A lot of times we're in this world, we look at um, the media advertising, we're told that unless we look a certain way, we're not accepted. Unless if, you know, but, but this is about beauty within us and the beauty of our love. And we're going to activate our beauty. And it's activating the beauty and appreciation of the world we live in. The flowers, the beauty of the flowers and the colors and the gifts that they give us every day just because we notice them and we send them love and they send us love back and the healing they give us through the herbs and the plants and the beloved trees who help to heal and transmute our energies and people don't even know it. So we want to give thanks and bless them as well. Um, and we're, we're going to bring in, okay, we're going, to, we're, we're going to bring in, I keep seeing these diamond energies uh, and these are, these are dispensations. I think, you know, you talked earlier about, you know, becoming on the show <laughs> a couple oh, of times time more I because I think we've activated just about all we can activate for this one particular oh, show. Believe me, and I there's know. a lot there's of activating lot going I, on. I, so people are starting see. to glimmer in the audience. I so, know. Uh, 30 seconds, what, what would you want everybody to know? That we're all love and we're all perfection. And if we take a few minutes every day just to, to take our consciousness and go in our heart and be in our heart. Everything we need is there, the healing, the love, the guidance, our connection to, to the, the beloved to assist us. Okay, beautiful. So anybody want information about today? Anybody have any questions? The art project, the artist, anything? It's Alan, 805-687-2053, 805-687-2053. It's an incredible opportunity for us all. There's been incredible activations here tonight. Take it, love it, go with it. Good night. God bless you. Mm -hmm.